Okay, this video covers the situation at the end of the first turn, which is October the 6th. Now, looking at the Sirius front here, now, the Israelis have got a few units on the board. They're trying to establish a defensive line. Um, they've lost a lot of their Isle of Fortifications, which have been knocked out by Egyptian units that already crossed the canal. They've got some units on the board which were mobilised at the start of the game. They've got a, a reasonable amount of units in this particular area here, but they're very thin on the ground elsewhere. Now, the Egyptians, the, the stuff that's mainly across the canal at the moment are the commandos, the irregular commandos here, which have an amphibious capability. We've also got a, a few brigades of, not brigades, a few battalions of anti-tank missile units here, some uh, amphibious units that were able to cross. Uh, very, very few normal units can cross, and this is because the emplacing bridges here have only got a capacity to move one battalion across, and that can't be armoured on the first turn. So there's a, there's a fair amount of units uh, across there, but there's no great strength and no armour. Now, on the next turn coming up, these units, these bridges will emplace. That gives, you know, they'll have a four battalion capacity to move stuff across. But even then, our brigades are going to have to be broken down to get them across the canal and re reform them on the other side. So the situation is not looking particularly epic for the um, Israelis. Now if we've got the, uh, um, just uh, another couple of interesting points. If you see these brown blocks, these just represent where your eight and blue blocks represent where your HQs are. That's important for generating command uh, and control of your units. You've got to effectively be in command for you to uh, operate at a full functionality. If we go over to the Golan Heights, which you noticed that the uh, Syrians are, they're not really got a lot of units across the board, uh, across this anti tank ditch. Mainly because an emplacing bridge here can only move one battalion of armour. At a time so there's few tanks across there they've got some infantry units these brigades that have basically dismounted to cross the anti-tank ditch um, there's quite a few of those one, one down here is being destroyed um, there are there's some other units that have got down uh, they've captured uh, this mount Hebron over here Hermon here, well, I think it is, yeah, and moving down that road there. But there's, there's a very small amount of Israeli units with very tiny units, pretty much blocking off everything. Now, I've actually allowed the Syrians to use the optional rule where they can uh, do a double movement on the first turn, but that still doesn't give them much because it only gives them like two. The ability to get two armoured battalions across the river, <laughs> so across the anti tank ditch, um, and the infantry and things that did cross, they just ran into any Israeli zones of control, which pretty much stopped them from breaking out any further. So, I don't know how this is going to turn out for the, the Syrians. Uh, because according to historical things, they, they had a, quite a considerable breakthrough on the first day and could easily have reached the uh, Jordan River here, bridges, if they'd only decided to, to carry on moving forward instead of stopping and regrouping. So there yeah, that's the situation at the end of the first turn. Um, I know I'm not doing this 100% correct, I'm still making errors and things, but uh, I believe I haven't made any catastrophic errors so far.